already know just where I be, dog. I ain't being cocky, but Philly, what I'm rapping, watch me check it like it's hockey. I ain't tryna get it twisted. If you get it, then you got me. If you with it, cool. If not, I'll treat you like it's Tamagotchi. I'ma let you down, point. Yeah, I never disappoint. What's on, guys? J Hoyd back with you today. Welcome back to some Call of Duty World War II ranked play. We got some CTF on the map Arden's Forest. However, this is going to be a long game. So, 20 seconds in the game, we already have four down and we're already pushing their base. And we're basically just controlling their base at this point. I then get a three piece, swipe their entire base, grab the flag. And I believe right soon after here, one of their guys will quit the game. 30 seconds into the game. Actually, 40. Was it? I think it's definitely less than a minute where he quits. But like right there. 45 seconds into the game and already one person quits. Then why do people vote for CTF? But anyway, guys, today I wanted to talk about girl gamers. Now, this is kind of a controversial subject in the way that people don't consider girls you know real gamers blah 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 i do right girls can play games too girls are gamers too right they make up a lot of the population of games anyway right they can stream they can make youtube videos they can play professional whatever esport they want Man, i have no easy, problem man. with that. Look at that but why they have such a bad reputation is because of people like this who just sit on league of legends usually it's usually league of legends they have gotten better at it, but they will have their webcam extremely big, right? Taking up at least half the screen. And then they'll have the gameplay in a small little corner in the bottom whatever side. And they'll show off their their parts, I'll, I'll put it. So, obviously guys don't have that, I, I don't want to say luxury, but don't have that option of, you know, showing a lot of cleavage or whatever else or showing off their stomach or wh whatever else that you could see on a camera. And they don't have that. Right? So guys usually get more viewers because they're actually good at games and because they have a they build a following. Girls like that, and I'm only talking about girls like this, they only get viewers because of what they're wearing and what they're exposing. Right? There's a lot of girls, and I will give them props. There is a lot of girls that are very, very good at video games, but actually dress, like, respectfully, and don't get viewers. And personally, I don't really watch a lot of big streamers or big YouTubers. Right? Like, the, the highest, or the most viewed streamer I watch is obviously Ninja, right? He's blown up, obviously. But then on YouTube, it's guys like Roman Atwood that I watch. But that's like the max, right? I don't watch any of the very, very, very top streamers or extremely... I, like, I don't watch PewDiePie, right? I personally am not a fan of him, right? I don't really enjoy his content, but other people do. Obviously, he's got, what, 60 plus million subscribers. But you look at the girls and it's like, if you can get viewers while dressing respectfully and dressing without exposing everything and you can get viewers, then that makes you a good streamer. Are you entertaining? Are you good at the game? If both yeses, then you should have viewers. If not, then I don't know what you're doing wrong. But then it's the girls that expose themselves. They kind of ruin the entire reputation of the girl gamer population. And personally, I don't mind watching girls, right? Half the time, they're a lot more entertaining than a lot of guys. But for whatever reason, all these girls that decide to play League of Legends and expose half of their screen to their body and then a very very small corner to the gameplay those are the girls that are ruining it for the girls that actually have talent now also there's girls like this that will just not even try right they'll just be like I don't care if I'm gonna get banned I'm just in it for the money and that's it now I'm not throwing shade at either of these two girls because the one I actually don't know the other one's Zoe Burger in case you didn't know but it's very, very close to what you consider to be a cam girl, right? Like, what else could you even call them? So that kind of ruins it. For all the good girl gamers out there, like all the CS, there's like a full like CS Pro League, I'm pretty sure, all related just to females. Like, that's incredible. They should add that to COD. They should add that to Halo. They should add it to whoever has, you know, the demand for it. I would have no problem watching a female pro league right if it's entertaining and they're like good teams then sure 
But then if you, they go into like the guys leagues and beat a lot of the top amateur teams, then even better. But if there is a separate pro league for that, or a separate league or a separate tournament or whatever, just for the female population, even better, right? They should try to grow their band. Like girls are becoming, you know, officials in the NFL. And I think there's one already in baseball. Like there's pro leagues everywhere, right? There's professional softball. There's volleyball, like girls at the Olympics. Like they can do everything just as well as the guys can, if not better, right? I'm pretty sure the, the female or the women's team, I gotta stop calling them females. Women, I'm pretty sure did better than the guys at the Olympics, if I'm not mistaken, right? So like... You can't just rely on the guys to just carry you through the Olympics, right? Girls can compete too, and sometimes they do better than the guys. Obviously, in the women's sports, usually, in, well, at least in the Olympics, there was only, I guess, two really good teams, being the U.S. and Canada. And that's not being biased or anything. That's kind of completely accurate. So, girls can do the same things guys can, but if a streamer or a YouTuber could do it without exposing their bodies and be a good streamer, then go for it. But if you have to expose your body in order to get viewers, then you're just doing something wrong. So, I hope I talked a little bit about, you know, female gamers, right? I have no problem with them, right? If I play with a girl, no big issue, right? They're people too. Like, they're not just some, like, separate, like, alien or whatever. Like, they're people too. Everyone's enacted with a girl before. Like, it's not something new. So, I have no problem with it. I, I just wish all the girl gamers would look up to better role models in the girls that just expose their bodies for views and uh and hope they learn something that if they want to be a good streamer or a good youtuber or a good pro player that they would uh they would work for it and not just try to expose themselves to get viewers but anyway guys i'm gonna wrap it up here we, actually, we end up finishing off this ctf game 17 and 3 although it is very good obviously the scoreboard is a little bit uneven there but we're going to cap this flag and the other guy ends up rage quitting. So there's the end of it, guys. So if you did enjoy, hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.